Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Malaysia. My name is Aaron and today we'll be covering a project called Harmony One. Now Harmony One is an Ethereum challenger and what their special sauce is, basically they're one of the first blockchains that uh, has uh, pursued sharding and also uh, something called effective uh, proof of stake. So uh, they're, um, they have an Ethereum bridge at the moment and they're trying to draw liquidity and they do have uh, something called uh, their own uh, DEX which is called uh, Soup. But uh, as you can see here, um, right now I have a Harmony 1 token selected and so far there isn't a lot of choice and I'm guessing that there isn't a lot of uh, liquidity on there. So this is kind of like uh, their uh, stats. So the finality is uh, 2 seconds which is extremely fast and they have uh, basically about 5.8 million uh, token stake and this kind of like their uh, token price. So this is their comparison between uh, Ethereum, Ethereum 2, Cosmos, and Polkadot. So they're a lot faster, and uh, they have more validator, which means they're more centralized. Uh, it is also cheaper to transact on them. And their mainnet is actually, uh, has been launched. So this is not something where, you know, it's just a white paper or it's still in a test phase. It's something that is already live and people can actually build on this. And um, they have uh, four shards and this is uh, kind of like their features, so um, it's secure random state sharding, fast uh, consensus, instant finality, effective POS uh, tokenomics. So as with any EVE challenger, I think the, the key here is actually to uh, be able to draw that liquidity. Uh, right now, I think they're more focused, their strategy is more focused on attracting developers to build uh, the apps. But again, you know, this is something that is uh, quite uh, tricky because uh, a D app normally would look for a chain with uh, more liquidity, which is one of the reasons why Binance Smart Chain, even though there's a lot of accusations against uh, BSC, um, you know, that uh, they're completely centralized. And uh, But you can see that a lot of uh, D apps are actually looking to build on DSC because of the uh, liquidity, right? And cross chain technology is quite interesting but the thing the reality is that there's an additional step for the user so even though ethereum is extremely expensive right now as you can see there's still a lot of uh, volume on uh, ethereum and uh, particularly protocols such as uniswap and the main reason why is because uh, they're able to you know basically uh, transact uh, swap ethereum for altcoins or altcoins back to ethereum and quite easily they can you know move from ethereum out to uh, a fiat uh, through a fiat bridge. Whereas if you have a layer 2 solution, so for example even XDAI, uh, you need one additional step and uh, that's something that is uh, you know quite challenging. So in order for any Ethereum uh, challenger to be effective, they need to draw that liquidity. So BSC has been successful in that and I think that it's a matter of time uh, before Polkadot is up and uh, Polkadot will be able to draw that liquidity. Uh, one thing that Polkadot has going for it is, in fact, um, Polkadot uh, itself is uh, one of the top cryptocurrencies in the world, and there's a lot of projects that's uh, looking to build on it. So uh, the base protocol already has like a lot of liquidity, not as much as Ethereum, but I think over a very short period of time, uh, Polkadot would actually be able to, you know, give Ethereum a run for its money. So this is the Polkadot. Uh, sorry, this is the <laughs> Harmony One chart. And as you can see that, you know, it's uh, it's been doing very well since, uh, well, since ETH Denver started, actually. So ETH Denver started probably around here. And I think because of the very aggressive, uh, you know, very big rewards, very aggressive, um, you know, promotion at ETH Denver, I think they managed to gain that, you know, awareness of the market. But this is just one of the ETH challenger, which uh, I find interesting. I think uh, the team is quite accessible. So, and they also use EVM. So if you were to deploy like a Ethereum app on this, uh, it would not be that difficult. Um, and you will use a lot of the familiar tools and it is also available on the Binance. So it's worth uh, keeping an eye on this. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. Uh, if you like my video, please smash that like button and also subscribe if you want to get regular updates. Thank you very much.